Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to learn about the Linux file system. To generalize, Linux considers everything as a file. Many things on Linux appear in our file system but they aren't actually files. They are special files that represent hardware devices, system information and other things. These special files may be located in a virtual file system. Files in Linux can be divided into three main categories. Ordinary files, directory files and device files. Ordinary files are used to store basic information such as some text that you have written. This is the type of file that we usually work with. A directory file or simply a directory contains an entry for every file and subdirectory that it houses. A device file use is used to represent a real physical device such as a printer or a terminal which is used for input and output operations. They appear in a file system just like an ordinary file or a directory. There are other types of file as well but we'll stick to these three for the time being. File names in Linux are case sensitive which means an uppercase file name is not the same as a lowercase file name. On most Unix based systems a file name can consist of up to 255 characters. Files may or may not have extensions. An extension doesn't matter for the system. It is just for us to distinguish the files in a Linux based system. A path is a unique location to a file or a folder in a file system of an OS. A path to a file is a combination of slash and alphanumeric characters. When we type pwd, what we get is a path which is simply a sequence of directory names separated by slashes. This path name shows us our location with reference to the top that is root. As you can see what we get as an output is a path. It shows us that we are in the directory user which has the parent directory home which in turn is under the root denoted by a forward slash. Note that the slashes act as delimiters to directory names except that the first slash is used to denote the root. Now let us learn about absolute path. An absolute path is defined as specifying the location of a file or a directory from the root directory. In other words we can say that an absolute path is a complete path from the start of the actual file system from this root directory. In the given example, pwd gives us the absolute path of the directory in which we are currently there. A relative path is defined as the path related to the present working directory. It starts at your directory and never starts with a slash. For example, let us suppose that we have to change our working directory to something else. So let me first type ls to show the directories under our present working directories. Now using the concept of relative path, we can simply type cd and the name of any directory which is located under our working directory and our directory will be changed to the directory which we type. So let's change our working directory to desktop which is located under our working directory. There you go. So now our present working directory becomes the desktop. Linux provides us a shortcut way of moving to the parent directory. We can use two dots to change to the parent directory. Let us see it with an example. 
earlier we moved from the home directory to the desktop so the home directory is the parent of desktop now we can just type cd space two dots and we go back to the parent directory which is the home directory we can also use a combination of dots separated by slash to move more than one directory up so that's all for this video for any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching